Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can also create parameters within your query criteria that will prompt you to enter in the value which will then be used as the query criteria value for the query before returning the result set. This can be tremendously useful as it can prevent many hours of editing and changing query criteria. Each query with parameters within the criteria becomes more reusable as each time that the query is run it will prompt the user to input the desired parameter values before the query returns its result set. That allows you to easily change it on the fly when you actually run the parameterized query. So for example, suppose that every day hundreds of donation records were entered into a nonprofit organization's donations database. Let's also suppose that you were responsible for finding all those records entered from the previous day and double checking their spelling accuracy and address information. You certainly wouldn't want to have to sort through all of the records in the database tables to find the ones that were entered the day prior. Even if you created a query that found the records for the previous day's data entry, without parameters, you would have to go in and open the query in Design View each day and edit the criteria values before running it. Instead, you can create a parameterized query that will prompt you to enter a value for a specified field, in this case some sort of entry date field, and the query will then use that value to find those matching records that you entered when you opened the query. So to create a parameter query, simply construct your query as usual. Then click into the QBE grid underneath the field for which you want to set up your criteria parameter. To then enter the parameter, simply type an open bracket, followed by whatever you want the parameter prompt to display to the user, and ended with a closed bracket. So for example, open bracket, please type the date here, close bracket. Also be aware that parameters can be used in conjunction with other operators and conditions, like the between and clause, for example. This can be helpful in finding records in a range that you specify when you run the query. And the syntax would be similar to the following. Between, open bracket, and then whatever you want the parameter prompt to be, such as type the first date here. close bracket, and open bracket, and let's say type the last date here. And close your bracket. So here we're actually using two parameter prompts with the between and condition in order to prompt the user for two values which they will input before the query runs its displays its actual result set. So here if we run the query we can see what that will look like. Let's say we wanted to see for this example all the sales for February. So the first date would be 2-1-2010 click OK and the last date would be 2 28, 2010. Click OK again, and now we're seeing a summary of sales by employee for February only. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.